settings in Valorant. Sure, but how can I boost my FPS performance? Sure, but how do you make your game so colorful and bright? My gameplay looks like a poop poop caca. Sure, but how can I gain competitive advantage over other players? Sure, but why don't you use HRTF audio settings? Well, if those are your questions, then you are at the right place, my dear friend. What's up, tricksters? My name is Charlatan, and you're probably wondering who the hell is this masked cringe lord? I was a professional esports player in over six different MOBA and FPS games. I reached the highest ranks in over 10 different titles, and in Valorant, I'm the radiant player in every single episode since closed beta, with the currently highest rank being top 74 players in Europe. And and I'm looking for some professional opportunities as well. There are many more titles and information that you can find about me, but the most important one for you and why you should listen to me and my guides and my tips and not some random average Joe YouTubers is that I am the Radiant coach that improved over 1000 players in Valorant and my goal here is to entertain you and teach you how to play this game that is full of love and hate relationships, it's time for you to reach your goals and dreams as fast as possible and hopefully without any brain cells lost in the meantime. Before the video starts, I highly recommend you to smack that subscribe button, turn your notifications on so you don't miss any new coaching videos in future, leave a like and comment so other players can also improve, share it with your friends and make sure to check my Discord server and website charlatan.gg for some professional private Valorant and esports coaching. Other social media links are down in the description below and it's time to start with the basics of Valorant and find out what are the best professional settings for FPS performance, quality and competitive advantage. At the end of this video I have a special reveal to make, so make sure to watch it from the beginning to the end. Let's go, baby! The first thing that we need to adjust is your PC. We need to optimize your computer to actually works better with Valorant. And the most important thing that a lot of players forget to do is to turn on your refresh rate of the monitor in display setting. There are some players that basically buy $1,000 monitors with, uh, I don't know, 360, 390 hertz, and they don't enable the refresh rate of the monitors in the display settings. That is the first thing that you should be doing when you buy a new monitor, and of course updating the drivers of your GPU and your, generally, PC. Refresh rate is very important, and generally your monitor is maybe one of the most important things when it comes to peripherals and other equipment ex except your PC of course, and FPS in the game. Why? Because that gives you a competitive advantage over the enemies and it allows your PC to render the enemies basically in real time, without any blurriness, without any stuttering. The refresh rate of the monitor is not gonna make you instantly tense or scream or charlatan, but it's basically gonna allow you to have higher chances of improving as fast as possible and also it's gonna unlock your full potential basically like your 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 skill ceiling potential right click on your desktop go to the display settings now in display settings find your monitor i have two monitors this is my primary and go to the advanced display settings in advanced display settings go to the display adapter properties for display one go to the monitor and enable the highest possible refresh rate of your monitor apply okay and now I basically fixed half of your problems and half of your gameplay. Now, the next thing that we want to touch on your PC, and that's definitely not your PP, NVIDIA control panel settings. But before we talk about our NVIDIA control panel settings, uh, we need to talk about NVIDIA GeForce experience. Basically, never, but never install NVIDIA GeForce experience and never update your GeForce drivers 
through this application and this software. All of these companies like AMD, Nvidia, Apple, Samsung, etc. They're forcing you to download the latest updates that are basically sometimes even obstructing the workflow of your PC. How many times you download some updates uh, on your phone and your phone kind of starts working a bit slower instead of being faster. It is intentional so they are forcing you to buy the newer versions of the phones the latest like i don't know s25 plus uh, mega sonic uh, spacex uh, i don't know really so my general recommendation is uninstall geforce experience or amd experience i don't know how it's called on amd graphic cards and basically always update your drivers through their official website go on the nvidia website and try to find the most optimal and the best drivers for your current gpu try to search on the internet which drivers work the best with your current graphic cards and which basically driver is the most optimal at that moment of time now we can start with nvidia control panel settings we go to the nvidia control panel and the absolutely first thing that you want to adjust here is we want to go to the 3d settings adjust image settings with preview and you want to enable use the advanced 3d image settings you click apply and then we go to the actual 3d settings now here i will not be going in depth what each of these options do uh, just copy paste these options and these settings that i have currently and trust me these are literally the best 3d settings that you can currently find for nvidia uh, when it comes to gaming, when it comes to like CSGO, Valorant and those FPS uh, uh, games. I've tested all of these settings like multiple times through a long, long period of my career. The next important part of NVIDIA settings is Charlatan, how do you make your game so bright, so vibrant, so so much better than, than mine? Mine looks like poo caca! The main reason why my game is so vibrant and colorful is because I'm using digital vibrance in my adjust desktop color settings. You go to this option here and you can adjust the brightness of your monitor and basically the gameplay in Valorant and the digital vibrance. In this example here, you can see how the game looks like without any filter. And on the other side, we have like how my gameplay actually looks like for you guys on my streams and in my videos. And this is the main reason for that. If for some reason you don't have the Nvidia control panel or like you have the AMD GPU or some other GPU, there is a workaround for this problem and a program that is maybe even better than adjusting the colors of the game in this panel. Go into your browser and type in Razer Cortex and open basically this page here and download this software. This is the software that allows you to adjust the colors, hue and saturation and digital vibrance of every single game that you're playing individually. And it is not impacting like uh, the screen of your PC, but just the game that you're playing at that moment of time. The next thing that we want to set up is the G-Sync. If you have a G-Sync or V-Sync for AMD GPUs, uh, always disable this no matter what video game you're playing at that moment of time. G-Sync and V-Sync add a lot of latency to your gameplay and it's a very bad option to have enabled. Now that we finished with those basic stuff, we can move into a bit more of a in-depth 200 IQ stuff. So basically, one of the most important things that you want to do, you want to go to your mouse settings in Windows and you want to go to the additional mouse options. In additional mouse options, go to the pointer options and always disable the enhance pointer precision. Apply OK. Basically, enhance pointer precision is the artificial acceleration on your mouse. Any type of mouse acceleration is bad in FPS video games, in any video game that you're playing. You never want to have different variables impacting your gameplay no matter which game you're playing at that moment of time. And acceleration is just death. If any aim trainer or, I don't know, coach tells you it's okay using some kind of an acceleration program for your mouse, that's total bullshit. Did you ever see Scream, Tens, Zantaris, uh, Simple, use any type of acceleration software? Of course not. These people, these highly professional esports players, are striving towards 
gameplay consistency, aim consistency that they have been building for years. And that is what you should be doing as well. Now, if you have an external software for your mouse, like a Logitech G Hub, or if you can change these options with some kind of a button that is below or on top of your mouse, I highly recommend you to keep your polling rate at 1000 Hz and DPI always above 800 DPI. If those two options are below these specific numbers, there is a chance that your mouse will be skipping a few pixels and that might impact your aim occasionally. I will be speaking about these settings and options a bit more in depth in my Valorant sensitivity guide, but for now these are the most important mouse settings for you. Next thing that we want to change on your Windows is the game mode in Windows settings. So you can go to the settings Basically, you just type in Windows settings and you go to your settings and you want to type in here game mode, game mode settings. In the game mode settings, you always want to enable this option. Basically, this option optimizes your Windows towards the game that you're playing at that moment of time. It is really good option to have and it will never hurt you in any type of bad way. But while we are still here, we want to go to the Xbox game bar and we want to make sure that this option is always turned off. Game bar can impact the performance of some games that you're playing and of your PC. If you are using the game bar to record your gameplay maybe, I highly recommend you to switch towards the Nvidia Shadow Play or to switch like to some OBS program, XSplit program, like something external, instead of using the Xbox game bar on your Windows. It is really, really bad option. Once again, we want to click on our window button and we want to type in Windows settings. And in Windows settings, try to find delivery optimization. Click right here and make sure that this option is always turned off because it can impact your PC and your gameplay in a very very bad ways. After we have finished adjusting this settings there is the last thing that we want to do for your Windows to basically enable a bit higher performance and we want to type in here when it comes to the find settings we want to type in power and sleep settings. When we go into power and sleep settings we want to go to additional power settings and make sure that the high performance settings option is turned on. Basically, this will allow your PC to run in the high performance mode 24 seven without any other compromises. This is extremely important if you're, for an example, using laptops or maybe some other devices that, that is not PC. Now we wanna optimize Valorant in our Windows settings. So basically the first thing that you wanna do is right click on your windows go to the file explorer and try to find uh where your valorant is installed for me it is games riot games valorant live and there it is valorant.exe launcher for my aimbot and wall hacks right click on this icon go to the properties and go to the compatibility settings make sure that the disable full screen optimization is turned on, go to the change high DPI settings and override high DPI scaling behavior should also be on. OK, apply, OK, and that's it. Next thing that we want to do, we want to adjust the graphics settings of your Windows and PC. So once again, we click on the trustworthy window button and then we type in graphics, uh, graphics settings. Uh, we go to the graphing settings and we make sure that the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is turned on and at, at the graphics performance preference make sure to add the Valorant. How do we do that? We go to the browse, we try to find games, Riot Games, Valorant, Live, Shooter Game this time, go to the binaries, go to the win 64 and we add this folder here. We click the add and this icon is gonna appear there. 
Once this icon appears, the Valorant icon, we want to click on it, go to the options and make sure that the high performance is enabled. Save, donezo. This will basically reduce the latency and improve the performance of your GPU when it comes to your PC, when it comes to Valorant, etc, etc. And that is the last Windows optimization option for Valorant. In the next video, we will be covering the absolutely best Valorant in-game settings, so make sure to stay tuned, my dear friends. I hope you learned something new to improve, and as I promised, it's time for a special reveal. This is actually not my real voice. Before this video ends, please consider subscribing while turning your notifications on, leave a like and comment so other players can also see this video, share with your friends, join my official Discord server if you want to get private coaching in Valorant and other social media links are down in the description below. Thank you for watching and Marcello! Marcello! Why do you put pancetta in carbonara? Marcello! Marcello! Marcello Pancetta doesn't belong in Carbonara. What do you do with my pasta, Marcello? Marcello?